Hey, today I want to do a video that I don't really have a reason to do, but we'll just say vanity. I wanted to show off the project I've been working on over the winter. I'm just about done. We got to buff the paint and a few other goodies. But I wanted to show off, I have a lot of fun shopping at my own store. And this car is loaded with my favorite reproduction, restored new parts all over it. So I want to take you from one end to the other and show you uh, what I did to this car. This car is kind of famous. This was in the Haggerty commercial, the Cougar commercial. Cause I'm in love with a cougar, so old yet feels so new. I'm in love with a cougar, and now I got myself too. I got myself too. We like older models too. Haggerty. And originally it started out as a yellow car with saddle interior chocolate brown accents. Well, the previous owner went red with white interior and top, but left the chocolate brown and had some gold pinstripes and hubcaps, and it just didn't do it for me. So I wanted to give this M Code XR7 a little attitude. So we'll start off with what I did in the front. First thing I did is the hood stripe. Uh, I think the hood scoops are a little overdone on small block cars. Uh, so I got the full hood stripe. To be honest with you, the reproduction of these isn't spot on. They didn't get the angle right. It doesn't splay out enough. So when you go to install them, you're, you're fighting it in this area, trying to get them to bend down enough. But with a little work, it comes out. And I always, I always like that Team Cougar <laughs> head there. Um, here's another thing I always like doing. I, I hate seeing these all faded out. I put the black background in here. Previous owner had painted it red, and unfortunately I didn't get all the red paint out of there. But I love the little kitty that we sell, having a bright new crisp one on there. This is a re-chromed grill that's been done uh, a few years ago. We also sell those, except you have to add the detail black paint. Reproduction decal. Uh, here is our restored three-piece trim. Previous set was polished to a high luster but not anodized, and of course when you do that, eventually it goes milky, and it was going milky. So, and I did it wrong. I should have pulled off the fender extensions. It's so hard to get this clip tight by reaching back there and doing the fastener, so I, I still gotta take this off. So just know, when you go to do this, you gotta take these fender extensions off. It's a pain, but uh, that's what it is. Under the hood, it was very original, and I uh, decided to spruce it up just a little bit. So I did the oval air cleaner and the finned aluminum valve covers. And I don't like the push on cap open emissions because that puts oil on your uh, valve covers. So I, I get the economy hose and punch a hole in the bottom of this, and that reroutes your blow by back into the system. So that's, that's my own choice there. I know most people don't go that way. And I'm a firm believer that every convertible needs one of these. These cars are just wishy-washy. You hit the railroad tracks here at Wakanda Road at 55, and you can just feel the whole car. It's like a waterbed. Kind of mushes around. So I, li I like to firm these cars up with, with one of these export braces. Didn't really do much more than that under the hood. It was nice original this is a 70,000 original mile car so it's been spruced up years ago in the 90s and it still looks good okay here's where i spent the majority of my time i was trying to recreate the car i had when i was young and got married and it was a 69 red black interior uh, xr7 so i just really wanted it all original and i just didn't want anything to shout out new or misfit in this. So first thing I'm kind of proud of, the reproduction Rimblo steering wheels. They really look good. They feel good. They have the correct mylar in them. The uh, wood grain is actually etched in, not painted in like the restored ones. And the deal with brand new Rimblos on a really cold day or a hot day, you're not going to see cracks reappear. And whenever you put a dissimilar material in a crack, like the, the epoxy filler they use, it will in time show a crack. So I've been using these rim blows for about three years now and no complaints, they're a nice fit. We got the... <laughs> okay, 
we got in addition to the steering wheel we got the uh, rim blow switch this is the best fitting best quality one to date there's been four or five different versions over the years and once in a while you do have to cut and solder and make because you know, they'll make them too long sometimes so know that going into it and they don't usually get stuck in the on position so <laughs> anyway um, this is a nice thing to have here you'll notice on tilt column cars these are always broken off and the new ones Scott Drake's ma makes are aluminum and they'll never break so that's kind of a nice item this is a reproduction I did with Desert Classics it's an eight-piece set both sides so get rid of all your pitted hardware and get your nice covers on there the uh, pull straps are not as good as original but they're so much better than the previous uh, reproductions we've seen the previous one of the reproductions that was made you'd actually grab the handle and they didn't use spring steel and it would bend so however your hand was the previous time it would just stay like that it just bugged me so these have spring steel uh, correct stitching and they don't come unglued from the back like the previous reproductions did uh, correct looking reproduction lock knobs the previous reproductions just look weird at the top so those are nice uh, these are the distinctive industry seat covers we carry um, inexpensive go on easy the foam is correct that we sell for 69 XR7 they to me have the right sheen to them and the right look uh, I just I just like them moving on uh, I really like the shift handles all the originals are uh, cracked somewhere and these these are these won't crack as easy as the originals the plastic technology these days is better another thing I, I really like is brand new lenses Daniel Carpenter and I work together to come up with uh, these lenses here so forget about your scratched milky ones you just put in optically clear perfect convex lenses and you're done for the next 40 years also replace the mirror lens I, I, I love having an optically correct mirror lens and uh, the arm is also new so no more falling down mirror uh, also put these wipers on with the somewhat correct looking look I hate seeing black plastic you know Chizo auto parts store units the mats these are the correct walking logo cougar floor mats and of course you have to trim them a little bit on the edges because they are uh, a little different configuration on the floor pan on a convertible because of the inner rockers being added here on a convertible versus a coupe okay the next item I'll point out these boots and these are a bugger to put on there's at least three if not four makers we've tried them all and you got to have two people in the sunshine with patience and if you're putting it on and we just put this on about 20 minutes ago if it were in the sun it'd be all smoothed out but that is how they were originally they were that tight and that hard to put on so um, know that they don't go on easy but this one isn't full of pooches and and lifting back here this one fits nice and like I say put it out in the heat it'll even look better I did uh, originally this was not a deluxe seat belt car but I I don't know us car guys are simple we like shiny so I always put these deluxe buckles on here with the new decals for the starburst here you can't see it but uh, got the pancake motors in here rebuilt here in-house so my quarter windows go up and down fast like they're supposed to oh this is a brand new reproduction just came out this week uh, the correct uh, speaker grills so they got the right sheen of black and the decal is correct the previous reproductions had some terrible looking decal it looks like it was done on a photocopier the holes in the mesh are a little too big but that's getting nitpicky I think this is another reproduction I put on here inexpensive and no scratches and perfect fit uh, the wand I put that on there it has the correct uh, contour to it the previous reproductions were way too sharp at the ends they just looked goofy in my opinion here's another 
item, detail item that I really like. The um, originals are always scratched in here and sun beaten and the chrome is starting to wrinkle so I put these discussions on here. Carpet, auto custom carpet. Um, nothing too special about that. Um, I think that covers it for the interior here. This, this is a lot of work and I spent a lot of time on these power windows. This is the worst. 69 glue on glass, power windows, XR7 convertible. It's, that's the worst glass to put in any car ever made, I think. But I think we just about it got lined up. So let's move to the exterior of the car. Shout out to Spider-Man, my pinstriper. He came here a couple days ago and did the hand-painted pinstripes in black. Before they were golden brown and it just really didn't do anything for me. So uh, I like that. If you're here in the Pacific Northwest, he'll come right to your home and gets it done right the first time. And if you give him measurements, you know, they differ year to year, car to car. You give him all the right measurements and he gets it done right. So I, I was really happy he did two cars for us. I think he's going to come do another two cars here soon. Really proud of my, uh, ma my Magstars. We'll call them Magstar lookalikes. Um, they're vintage correct wheel. You would have saw that on uh, uh, a version of this on the Mercury X100s, on the early 67 Shelbys, um, on the Team Cougar Trans Am cars from the day. So I really like that look. And I like the red cap here that really dresses it up. So overall, this car uh, I think is going to make a nice little driver here. And uh, these are still affordable. I think this is a I think this is a good car to invest in. You know, a small block, 69 or 70 convertible with some options. I think that's one to hold on to for a number of years. So you want to, if you're interested in one, uh, go ahead and look at some of my videos on what to look at when you're buying a Cougar, and also stop by ClassicCougarCommunity.com. You show 20 pictures over there, and between the 500 experts or wannabe experts. As a group, they'll give you a definitive answer on what you're looking at and what the ballpark value is. So ClassicCougarCommunity.com, it's a forum and it's free to join.